Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to yet another video. It's a special championship predictions video today as I'm predicting the championship top six. What I think it will look like in May, this early in January. We're only halfway through the season as we go into the FA Cup third round weekend. But do give me your opinions down below. This video can only go wrong, but it's my gut feeling this far into the season. Give me your opinions down below, guys. You might not agree, but give me your one to six predictions down in the comments. Do make sure to drop a like and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already and you like your championship content feel free to subscribe. Let's get in to the table then, guys. So before I do my prediction, you can see the championship table is so congested. We all know this is the greatest league in Europe, and it certainly is delivering this season. One thing that's interesting is the top two are pulling away. I know Burnley and Sheffield United fans know it isn't over yet, but they've got such a good lead. Things would have to go disastrously wrong for them to not get promoted now. I'll obviously mention them when I come to my predictions, but don't be surprised. Burnley and Sheffield United, I think we all know they're probably going up at this point in time. You've got such a big race here. I'd even say teams that we don't expect like Birmingham and Hull City, you can't actually rule them out of being in this because one good run could get them into the top six when the points are so congested here. There's so many teams on a similar amount of points that goal difference could play a big factor in the second half of the season. Now, some people are like, why is it like that this season? Well, to be honest, there's so many different reasons for why the table is so congested more so than usual this season for the playoff race. My opinions are in the second half of the season, things might spread out a little bit. Based on what we saw in the first half, we had teams like Middlesbrough and West Brom that you'd ex expected to be in that top six, get off to slow starts, and they're recovering now, and it means everything is so sandwiched. Norwich and Watford, I can't put my finger on what's going wrong there. Both have changed their managers. They both need big second halves of the season. Yes, they've got parachute payments. Can that be enough to get them into the top six against all this traffic trying to get in there? Let's move move on to my predictions. It'll come as no surprise then. First of all, I've gone for Burnley. Now, the only team that could finish top instead of Burnley, in my opinion, will be Sheffield United. But at this point in time, I'm going to go for Burnley. Might not be a whole lot in it between Burnley and Sheffield United, but I think that gap between second and third makes me think it'll definitely be these two. Let's focus on Burnley then. Well, they're currently projecting 99 points. They are so far clear. They've been absolutely destroying it. I'll put my hands up and say, coming into this season, I didn't think they'd be as good as they are. I knew they've got good players and with Vincent Company he's certainly proven to be a good manager but I thought coming into this season he hadn't really proven himself at this level I'm happy to say he's proved me wrong and they've been fantastic certainly one of the best teams in the league if not the best they've got goals all over the pitch and like I say projecting 99 points when realistically 83 84 could be enough just to cement your second place this season is incredible Burnley haven't really hit any bad patches of form they maybe got off to a slowish start considering the pace they're going at now but even if they go on a run where they just win two games in the space of six or seven they're still so clear of everyone else that we need a team just below Burnley and Sheffield United to go on such a good run to try and put any kind of worry into Burnley. Burnley are flying and they're going to win the league in my opinion. Second place Sheffield United. I backed them to get promoted at the start of the season so I can safely say this prediction looks like it's going to come in. I've stood by that since the start even though they lost their first game and have picked up the pace as they've been going. I always thought that squad is so strong that they would deliver. They're now the best away team in the championship, which is quite something when a lot of us thought Sheffield United accumulate most of their points at Bramall Lane. They're really good on the road as well, which is incredible to see. Obviously, there's a lot going for Sheffield United. They've got parachute payments. They've got a strong squad. They've got a good manager and a fantastic fan base behind them. Bramall Lane, like I say, a really big ground, can get rocking. And like I say, when they're picking so many points up on the road as well, it has to go really badly wrong now for Sheffield United to not get promoted. They're going up in second place, in my opinion. As we move on to the next few teams, this is where it's going to get a little bit more interesting. In third place, I'm going for Middlesbrough. Now, Middlesbrough, a lot of us coming into this season thought would probably be around third, fourth or fifth. And at the start, people were a little bit sceptical. What's going on? They've changed the manager and now they are shooting up the table. One thing I said for a long time with Middlesbrough is their expected goals was fantastic, even when they were down there. So they were creating a lot, even if Chris Wilder wasn't getting the results. The change in manager has been so important. Honestly, Michael Carrick is doing a great job. Another manager, not massively proven. So it's great to see him doing well. And Middlesbrough's form is electric. One defeat in nine and seven wins in that time as well. And that one defeat was away at Burnley in a game where they took the lead as well. So really not a lot 
wrong with Middlesbrough at the moment. They are really flying and to be honest 70 points might be enough to get your sixth place this season. I see Middlesbrough really going past that. They could get up to 75 and I'm not trying to dig at them here, but if they hadn't had a bad start to the season, they'd probably be threatening Burnley or Sheffield United with what we've seen now. Matt Crooks, absolutely fantastic. Just watched him play Birmingham. Two goals and assist. What a monster. Akpom, top scorer in the league. Absolute monster as well. Middlesbrough are going to finish third in my opinion. So then on to fourth place, I'm going for Millwall. Now Millwall at the start of the season was a team I actually did go for to get in the top six and it was a little bit of a wild card for me considering they haven't been in the top six for the last few seasons. But if you look at their progress, they have been knocking on the door over the last couple of years and they've got good continuity there at Millwall. The manager, the fans, they're all buying into this. They've got good players as well. Zian Fleming really standing out with 10 goals and even Bradshaw stepping up to get six goals this season. They're the second best home team in the league, which is certainly notable. The Den is a tough place to go. The only criticism I'll make is away from home, they're only averaging a point per game. So that might not that might need to improve a little bit, but at the moment, Millwall do look good for the top six, in my opinion. Millwall, I'm putting in fourth place. So then on to fifth place, and I'm gonna go for West Bromwich Albion. Similar to Middlesbrough, we expected them to do well. They've got parachute payments, they've got very good players, but the manager was not getting the right tune out of them, and especially when it's Steve Bruce, a man we all knew was a dinosaur when he first came into West Brom and I'm not just trying to be controversial I think a lot of us think that now great manager in his day but certainly outdated now and you can see they've got the right manager there now one thing interesting with West Brom is there isn't one man going out and getting all the goals the goals are being shared out Thomas Asante with five Jed Wallace with four Carlin Grant with four, John Swift with three. So the goals are being shared out, but it's their defence which is absolutely instrumental at the moment. They have won eight of their last nine and seven clean sheets in nine as well. It is so impressive for West Bromwich Albion. They are hurtling towards that top six. And once again, if they didn't have a bad start, they could maybe be in the top two conversation. But I'm sure West Brom fans would settle for the top six considering where they were 10 games ago. Things are looking up at the Hawthorns. West Brom are in fifth in my prediction. So then onto the final team, sixth place. Look, there were so many teams I wanted to cram in here, but you can only get a couple. Blackburn, I'll give a mention to. I haven't put them in there, but they've been flying. Just so many defeats and their goal difference is a little bit wonky, but they're doing really well. Watford, another team with serious quality. Norwich, a team which we expect to recover. Coventry, Swansea, QPR, Reading, Sunderland, all in that conversation as well. But in sixth place, for me, at this point in time, I'm going for Luton Town. A man, Rob Edwards there, absolutely instrumental. Honestly, the thing that I thought was worrying for Luton when Nathan Jones went was such good continuity. That manager knew the club, but Rob Edwards has learned how that club works and he has got them ticking so fast. And what a story it would be if Luton get in the top six and Watford don't for Rob Edwards, who got sacked as Watford manager. Luton Town are flying at the moment. Three wins in a row at the time of recording this. They have got a favourable run in January and February with many winnable games. So if they can really cement their place in that top six that would be fantastic Carlton Morris you've got to give a mention to absolutely flying certainly could be up there for um, top goal scorer this season if he keeps banging them in but Kenilworth Road's always a tricky place to go whether Luton are in good form or not and like I say they are in good form now I think they could be any team in this division when they're really on it so Luton Town I think will get in there this season and what a story if Luton Town get in that top six for a second season maybe this time they'll cross the line and do it in the playoffs that is my championship top six prediction as I say Blackburn, Watford, Sunderland, Norwich, Preston, Coventry, Swansea, Reading, QPR, Hull and Birmingham. All teams that could mathematically obviously do it this season. But that is my top six prediction. Don't give me any hate. Just get your predictions down below if you disagree. Do make sure to drop a like. Do subscribe down below if you haven't already. That's my championship top six prediction. Get your predictions down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Peace out.